what are your thoughts on the Warlock stasis since you mainly play Warlock? Overall, I think that Warlock is definitely overtuned compared to Hunter and Titan at least. We haven't seen all the aspects yet, but the one that we do have, which is Ice Flare Bolts, is already insanely powerful when combined with the grenade because it's so easy to freeze someone with the cold snap grenades. And then you kill that person and everyone around them gets frozen. There's no counterplay to your teammate dying to someone that freezes them. And then you get frozen because of that. And then in addition to that, you get bonus super energy for killing people that are frozen. On top of everything that else that it has, the melee to freeze people, the super with how easy it is to freeze people, it's just insanely overpowered, to be honest. I don't play Warlock, but I low-key want to get mine up just to screw with people with that instant freeze. Yeah, you, you have a super running at you, you just throw a melee at it, he's frozen can't do anything no counterplay you say you're a striker you have to run at him and melee him to kill him yeah but you do that and he throws a melee at you and freezes you what's your counterplay to that you have to push him to get the kill is you just don't push him you can't use your super anymore if they just play back kiss your butt goodbye well, how about the titan what do you think of the titan super so me as a titan main the titan super is probably the second best of the three the behemoth melee ability is not that good it's fun you can push people off the map but it doesn't one shot unless you're like flying through ice so you have to kind of pair with the grenade so it's not that good it would be better to be used as a movement ability but you only get one and it doesn't come back until like 27 seconds if you have tier 5 or max strength you can run like heart of and most light to get your strength back faster your melee back faster but you're sacrificing exotic slot for that so if you could get it more often use it more often it'd be nice to actually use this movement the titan super itself has potential to be really good there's two big issues with it and one minor one the first big issue with it is the the left click or I guess the melee ability with it the tracking is pretty terrible it'll push people out the way before it even hits them it does like an uppercut like you gotta throw your fist down to punch them up it'd just be nice to have that a little quicker now the other big issue is the delay in between the abilities you can literally right click slam down walk for about five steps before you're even able to use your left click dash or your right click slam again so I think they need to kind of take away that delay almost like a striker like the striker you can literally just spam your left click knee slam raise you can't in this or you can spam your slam ability first yeah you can't that seems in this like one. kind of painful like you know you can do those abilities but there's a long ass cooldown that you can't even use them at that's the worst thing about that one the other minor thing is it's comparable to the big hammer on the solar tree after you've already right clicked you can't aim it whatever direction your character is facing that's the direction it goes if you could somewhat turn it in the air to actually go and aim it wherever you're aiming while you're slamming down that would be very helpful instead of having to be in the direction and then right click it to yeah. actually hit them. The grenade, I only have the regular first wall grenade, so for the most part, that's... Oh yeah, the first wall grenade, it's not very good. Yeah, it's not that good. You can make some plays with it, but not nearly as much as the other ones. And Potato and I don't really play a hunter. I don't have the stuff on the hunter yet, so I guess we can't really give our opinion as a hunter, but from what I've seen, the hunter super isn't that crazy. Maybe it'll guarantee one or two kills. Yeah, the melees are also very well balanced in terms of the first melee hit slows, second melee hit freezes. Same with Titan, the melee is also somewhat balanced in terms of it doesn't instantly freeze someone if you melee them. Warlocks get a ranged instant freeze. Titans have to get close and even then it doesn't even freeze them. Or hit them because it misses. <laughs> yeah. And then you have shorter charge too, which instant kills. Why would you ever use any of the freezing abilities in PvP compared to just shorter charging people? I think it should just instant kill or at least just instantly freeze if it hits them. What do we think about stasis in PvP? For me, it's fun, it's annoying, but I'm not taking Destiny PvP seriously. So the more fun I can have to toy with my opponents or do cheesy super stuff. Just make it more fun and have fun with the Destiny PvP, not take it so serious, yeah. especially quick play. I'm gonna be completely honest. This is the most fun I've had in quick play since I've started playing the game just because I've been messing around with it and because it's so broken, but I think Warlock is the only thing that's really could be considered broken right now. The grenade too, maybe, but overall, other classes for stasis don't seem insanely powerful to me, to be honest. It's just Warlock's a bit overtuned. Every time in my Behemoth Super, it's just Warlocks that are instantly freezing me. Yeah. It's like everyone's complaining about stasis but I think it'll die down if Warlock gets nerfed, to be honest, all the complaints. The overall gun meta that I have seen playing quick play, I haven't done much of the story, I've just been PvPing, so the meta so far from what I've seen is I don't see people using auto rifles nearly as much. Sniping has been toned down, like I'm not getting sniped constantly every other game, it's not annoying. Like I see, I jump up, I see sniper glares, and I'm just like, oh, okay, and they don't hit me. So sniping has been toned down a lot less. I can't even tell them anything people are using. 120 RPM hand cannons are super good, super powerful, and they balance those the right way. I can tell you, in terms of weapons, the uh, no time to explain is insane. It is. I was, I was getting to that. I was using it at that. that yeah, gun once is you took down fun. perfect aim, and they, they add into the game. You get a like little buddy that shoots perfect aim for you, hits every shot. I love that little buddy. Like people just pop out and it just points. It's 
actually hey, bro, the there's best a guy over there in the game. Yeah, there's, there's a guy over there. Let me flinch the sniper for you. Yeah, no, that, that, that little thing you have with, you know, how to explain is a better teammate than 90% of teammates in play, <laughs> yeah. to be honest.